Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Hello everyone, this is Hamayu, and in today's video, I'll be talking to you how to estimate the Diebold and Yilmaz connectedness measure while using our studio. Uh, in this specific video, I'll be talking to you the the very famous uh, two approaches of connectedness: the TVP var and Q var uh, techniques, uh, and how we can calculate them, or how we can estimate them, how can we can get to the you know the connectedness table of the Diebold and Yilmaz that they have introduced in their brilliant work back in 2009 and then in his in their masterpiece paper of 2012 and 14. I'll not be uh, talking about you know the mathematical background or how it works or what are the equations because if you're watching this video you must be knowing you know how it works. Uh, um, if you are still insisting that uh, to know the the background, then you can visit their 2009 and 2012 papers, where you can find you know the exact methodology of how Diebold and Yilmaz actually you know uh, planned out. So uh, before wasting more time, let's move towards the data on which we are actually calculating or actually estimating the TVPVAR and QR techniques. So here is my data in the Excel. Uh, I have the date variable. Uh, it's actually daily data. And I have these three yield curve parameters of level, slope, and curvature. And then I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 cryptocurrencies, different cryptocurrencies. I've taken the returns of those different you know, cryptocurrencies. And in the specific video, what we will be doing, we will be trying to investigate the connectedness between uh, you know, among all those 15 variables, I mean, the level, slope, and curvature of the yield curve and the returns of the uh, cryptocurrencies. So, uh, let's go towards the R programming. Uh, first of all, uh, let me uh, let me show you what is the name of this data. So, I'm using the directory function dir. So, if you see we will be working on this yc data dot xlsx so how to read this data it's actually an excel uh, data for which we need you know the let me call this data as data data is equal to read underscore xlsx and inside the bracket let me put the name of this data yc data dot xlsx so so here is the data let me show you. Let's view this data. View data with the view function. So here is the data. If you see, this is the date variable. This is the level. This is the slope curvature, and the re returns of you know twelve different cryptocurrencies. Next step. Uh, next, we need to convert this data in the zoo format, which is extremely important. And for the zoo format, you need to install the zoo package. Z double O. That's actually the package. I've already installed it. So there are a lot of function in this zoo, you know. This is very important package. You may encounter with this package in other, you know, data analysis as well. So let's convert this data into the zoo. But in order to convert it into the zoo, we need to delete this date variable from the data. And we need to save it into, you know, a sort of another vector. So first of all, let's save it into date. Date is equal to uh, data dollar sign date. So I'm saving this date variable into an another vector with the name date. Now I'm removing this date variable from this data. So I'm, for example, calling it as df. df is equal to data, this bracket, comma minus one, which will remove the first column. Yes, so now let's view this df. It doesn't have the first column, if you see. So, now we are going to, you know, convert this data into the zoo format because without the zoo format, you cannot work on the connectedness package. For that, you need to remove the, uh, need to bring the data into the zoo format. In order to bring it into the zoo format, let me name it as my zoo data. Zoo data is equal to, I'll be using zoo function for it. 
it will require two things from 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 me the first one is the data that is actually saved in the df i've already saved it in the df and second it needs order order dot buy so i am going to order it on the basis of that date variable that i've already saved in the date if you see here that this is actually this so it has converted into the zoo format now the most important the connectedness you know package that we'll be using there is a package for the diebold and yield mask connectedness measures we call it as connectedness approach this is actually the the package i've already installed it if you want to install it just use install dot packages okay so this is actually you know the package we have got a lot of function in it and so many uh data sets as well so this is the so what we'll be using in it we will be using specifically the connectedness approach so let's name it dyc as dyc now use the connectedness approach this function connectedness approach not the package see we have a package and inside this package again we have connectedness approach function so first of all if i'm calculating the qr so the first thing that it requires is x and x is actually the data that has that has that we have actually saved in the zoo format which is the zoo data okay what does it require next it require next the leg and leg so you we have to give it as one and then it requires n4 which is you know by default 10 okay n4 is equal to 10 okay so next is window size uh, for window size you know a lot of studies are using 200 days so it's good to use that window size is 200 next is model so in the model we have got a lot of models like qr simple var lasso ridge elastic tvp var dcc gauge a lot of them but we'll specifically be using tvp var first it's, it's tvp var right and then the last thing that it requires is the connectedness connectedness keep it as time connectedness is equal to time okay so okay it says that there are missing values in the x so if there are missing values then we can use you know the 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 qr function then then the qr model is appropriate so replace this with the qr okay so it starts working it will take a bit time so we have to wait so it has worked and it has calculated you know the qr connectedness measures so let's see what do we have in this qr most of the important things is the table uh, one of the most important of all of the you know the the parameters of the connectedness is this connectedness table of the qr if i click c so it's you know the net uh recipient or the net transmitter you can you know uh interpret this whole table so this is actually the connectedness table of the qr a uh, few other things that are important are actually dyc uh total connectedness this is total connectedness index tci this is important it will show you the total connectedness date wise total connectedness next important thing is the from i mean uh, what is the connectedness or what is the spillover uh, from the system towards each variable right and this is two which is actually uh, the spillover from each variable to the system so these three four data sets are very important that you get in the results of this function so initially we tried the tvp var but it 
it was saying that there are missing values in the rows so in order to calculate you know the tvp bar we need to eliminate those missing values so for that i have named the data as zoo data so let's name it as my zoo is equal to na dot omit na dot omit zoo data so it will eliminate the missing value from the zoo data and i'm naming it as my zoo so it has eliminated now now let's use the tvp var so here the zoo data will be replaced by my zoo because my zoo has no missing values and here i'll be naming it as tvp var tvp var right okay so it has started working now it will calculate the connectedness measure of the tvp var boom i think it took a very little time as compared to the qr so it has calculated so the dyc again i have named it as the dyc so if you see in the dyc again important things table uh, total connectedness index two system from each variable you know and then from system to each variable few other things as well so if you want to explore you can study there is also a book of diebold and yilmaz about their connectedness measure so this was all about it i hope it will help you a lot in your upcoming publications or whatever you you're trying to do or you may use it for in a lot of projects whenever you are interested in the spillover uh, effect of certain variables on another or their different spillover effects among the markets among different financial markets or any other market in my channel i hope it was helpful thank you very much allah hafiz